Yo, Wagwan, hope you're having a great morning, evening, whenever you're watching this. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to auto tune your vocals in FL Studio for free. So, if that interests you, if you want to get that, you know, auto tune effect on your vocals, definitely stay tuned. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at YouTube marketing, online business, and music production, all things music. If you want to learn about all the tools that I use for music or all of my helpful resources to help you, you know, get where you want to get to in your music career faster, links are in the description go check that stuff out let's get into the video now i'm gonna play you <laughs> basically let's let me tell you what we're gonna do in this video yeah i'm gonna show you how to auto tune your vocals for free and then i'm gonna show you what auto tune sounds like because you can do it for free with the built-in software that comes with fl studio and then I'm going to show you like my current vocal effects that I'm using with Autotune. But I must warn you, yeah, that I'm still learning how to mix my vocals. So I wouldn't just copy my vocal mixing and use that as the vocal mixing that you want to use. But you can use it as a starting point and, and do what you're doing because I'll be editing it as I get to like releasing my first song and I'll just use that from then on basically. So. I'm gonna show you how to do it for free first, then I'm gonna show you how, how I'm currently recording my songs because I don't use the free version and I bought Autotune. But we're gonna use a plugin called, well, let me show you what the vocals sound like before we do anything to it. And then I'll show you what we will do to it and how we can change that. Or I'll show you what it sounds like with the effects and then I'll show you how to do that, okay? Does, this, does that sound good to you? Does that sound good? Well, I don't care if it sounds good. We're just gonna get into it, aren't we? Let's play it. I miss you often, very often. I can't tell you how I feel. And then maybe cause I'm stubborn, or maybe cause you left the wounds that I'm trying to heal. Sounds dead, right? does not sound good if i release the song sounding like that people will be like uh what's going on you should probably quit now let's hear what it sounds like with the effects i miss you often very often but i can't tell you how i feel and then maybe because i'm stubborn or maybe because you left the wounds that i'm trying to heal and i know you wish we could go back and I've got, um, you know, Dublin tracks down here, which basically harmonize with the vocals and give it more oomph. Like, have you got weak vocals? Harmonize. Like, <laughs> I learned this from Calvin Harris when he did an interview and he was like, yeah, he's, his vocals are weak. So he just like has like three tracks. He records the same thing three times in like three different ways and pans one left, one right, one down the middle. And it really does help. I do that for like most of my choruses and stuff like that. But, um, apart from you know those vocal tricks what are the effects that we're using these are the effects now we've got new tone in here but i'm not actually using new tone on this vo vocal track i will make a video on new tone if you want it let me know in the comment section down below but new tones a little bit more complex than what i think most people want when they're thinking about auto tune what most people want is they just want to fling something on and for their song to be pitch corrected basically so here is what we're using we're using pitcher but first we got an eq on there although I, I doubt you care about that so let's just go into pitcher and i'll show you that stuff i'll show you like all the eqs and and stuff when we get to like my current mixing um template so this song is in g sharp minor you have to make sure that you are using pitcher in the right key, the same key as your song. If you don't know what key your song is in, there are there are probably websites um, online that can help you with that, that will show you how to do that. But if you made the beat yourself, you should know what key it's in. Um, I, I don't know. You could also, yeah, you could use, um, what's it called? Edison, you could use Edison and basically detect pitch ranges and, and do that if that's what you want to do. That's, that's a bit long. I would suggest you get a plugin or 
I don't know if it's a plugin. It might be a plugin now, but there is a application called Mix in Key that is very good. If you fling your beat in there, then it will tell you generally what the key of your song is. It's usually right. So I, I used to use that back in the day, but now I'm producing my own songs. I know what key they're in, in it. So this is in G sharp minor. The first thing you need to do is choose the right key. So we go to G sharp and then we go minor. And now all you need to do is set your speed. I don't know where this actually starts off as, but if you set it faster, then the auto tune is going to kick in more fast like it's going to sound more that t-pain effect the more you put it over to slow the more natural kind of vibe you're gonna get i kind of want i want you to hear the auto tune but i don't want it to sound like a robot in it so i'm around medium just a little bit more towards fast over here we've got fine tuning i've just left that on zero and we've left everything else basically the same and you can um you know mess with these notes i believe and turn certain notes off if that's what you want to do but i highly suggest you don't do that because like why only do that if you know what you're doing it <laughs> don't don't mess around and do stuff like that um unless you really unless you know music theory because you might just mess yourself up and you might find oh you can test stuff out and be creative if that's what you want to do but if you just want to get stuff right don't even bother like it's, it's not necessary if you want to get deeper into this i'll make a video let me know in the comment section down below and i'll show you you know how you can change specific words to be in different um, notes and all that sort of stuff which is something that you can do with new tone and auto tune. I don't think you can do that with picture, but maybe you can. I haven't looked that deep into it. But these are the settings basically. Very, very simple. You just change the key. You move this to basically past medium, near fast. You can move this more to fast if you want that T pain effect. This is more like a, you know, kind of, I'm auto tuning, but I'm not super auto tuning it. And you can move it all the way this way if you want it to have less auto tune on it and it to be, you know, more natural. So that is that. That's very, very easy, very, very straightforward. Then we've got a compressor, which basically brought all the, the vocals up and we've got a basic EQ on this. Now, let me show you my new preset where I'm actually using auto tune and things are going to sound, I don't know what they're going to sound like because I haven't put this on this track yet, but it's probably gonna sound a little bit different. It might sound a little bit better, but if you don't wanna buy auto tune, I get it. maybe you're broke, it's, it's not It's not cheap. <laughs> Definitely not cheap, but I feel like it's worth it. I feel like it is worth it. If you really want the auto tune effect and you want proper auto tune, it's worth spending the bucks. But if you've got the producer version of FL Studio, then the new tone is also a good alternative but I haven't really used it that deeply to be able to say, yeah, new tone straight. So here is my template for my vocals right about now. I still have some finagling to do, so I'm not gonna walk you through every single thing right now, because I think that would probably, that might hurt you rather than help you. As I said, we're not done over here. So let's go to auto tune. I'll make a video on vocal mixing and I'll actually walk you through those things. Don't worry about that. And let's change the key to G sharp minor. And the good thing about Autotune as well is if you buy Autotune Pro, I believe it comes with Autotune Key. And with Autotune Key, you can put that on your master track and then it will basically tell you the key of the song. But this ain't an Antares plug video because I purchased this with real cash. So <laughs> let's keep it moving if you want to know more about Auto Key or anything like that. I'll get into it, uh, but let's get into basically what we're doing here. We're going to set the voice to alto, alto tenor. We're going to set the key to G sharp minor as we did before. Our retune re speed is currently six. Uh, humanize is at 19, which basically makes it sound more realistic, more human. And natural vibrato is at zero. Flex tune is also I think this is actually off because we've got it in classic mode right about now. So this is my template that I've currently been using, which is supposed to give me like a future type 
effect, future type auto-tune effect. So let's actually see what this sounds like. And I will also allow the doubles to play, but these doubles will not have the main auto-tune effect. So don't worry about that. Let's play it in the, uh, let's just play it so you can hear what this sounds like now. I miss you often, very often. Okay, sorry, I forgot that this sounds also I like the volume's also very very low. <laughs> because I'm mixed better now. I miss you often, very often. I can't tell you how I feel. And then maybe cause I'm stubborn, or maybe cause you left the wounds that I'm trying to heal. And I know you wish we could go back. So, honestly, I need to head up back again to, to try and, you know, see how different it sounds. So, one more time, let's hear it back. I miss you often, very often. I can't tell you how I feel. And then maybe because I'm stubborn, or maybe because you left the wounds that I'm trying to heal. And I know you wish we could go back. Okay, this is a little bit unfair because it's got all my other, you know, plugins on. So let's just turn off um, all the additions like the flanger, the delay, the, we'll keep the EQs on, we'll turn off the Neutron 3 gate, we'll have the maximizer because that's just a DS and we'll just listen to it like that because it obviously it sounds way clearer, way better, all that sort of stuff, but we've got all the other plugins on in it. So now this should be a more equal comparison to the, what's it called again? The Pitcher plugin that we used before. If you don't know how to find Pitcher, let me quickly show you uh, on this track. In order to find Pitcher, you just go to your slot and well, actually I've got it on simple. So you might have it on categories. If it's on simple, you just go to Pitcher, you know, it's on P's. If you got it on categories, then it's over here up here with the other minuscule stuff let, let me put that back to simple man i don't like categories so <laughs> let's play this back and we'll hear it again and we'll play it without the doubles because that that is unfair i'll play it with the doubles after no actually you've already heard that so that's not necessary i miss you often very often i can't tell you how i feel and then maybe cause I'm stubborn Or maybe cause you left the wounds that I'm trying to heal And I know you wish we could go back It just sounds better to me, like it sounds cleaner And the auto-tune just kicks in way better But I also have different, different settings on it So obviously, you know, it's faster it's a faster retune speed than I had on before. So I would just mess around with it until you get it to where you want to like mess around with the picture to where you want to get to where you want to get to. But I do highly suggest you think about getting like auto tune for real. But if you're, if you're broke, if you ain't got the peas and you just want to test out an auto tune plugin so that you can kind of get the effect then yeah you can fling that you can fling picture on your vocals keep it moving but i do suggest you take that tip that i got from calvin harris and you you basically do your vocals like three times and pan one to the left pan one to the right turn them way down bring them up in like the chorus so it gives that great effect and if you bring them way down like people won't really notice it but it will it will it will work with their ears in it and it'll make you sound better than you actually are in it. <laughs> Which is what it's all about. It's that studio artist living, cuz we can't sing, we use auto tune and shit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I hope this video helped you out because you know auto tuning your vocals is something that I, I've needed to do because I'm not a great singer, but I like singing it. And now you know everyone's rapping, singing and all that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd help you out so you can jump on this wave too. Uh, if you want to learn how to stop being a starving artist, then go to jcartray.com forward slash free course and sign up for that free course. That'll teach you the five most important steps to YouTube success, the steps that I went through in order to achieve financial freedom and be able to chase this music thing full time, do whatever I want, basically. 
and remember all the resources that you could want linked in the description below you can find out all the tools that i use to make mute my music you can find my music you can find the link to my beats all that sort of stuff or i guess you could come on the main website and you know that's all in the menu but links are all in the description so you can go exactly where you want to and go you know get that stuff straight away uh i will see you in the next video but before we do that before before we leave let's let's give you the question of the day yeah what kind of music are you making what kind of artist are you i want to know because obviously you want to know how to auto-tune your vocals isn't it? so maybe you're singing a little bit but you might just be a songwriter you might be a reggae artist you might be a uh, do they still make reggae i don't know do they is, is it even reggae dance hall um bashment whatever they're calling it these days you might be one of those artists you might be a trap artist you might be a rapper you might be a singer i don't know let me know in the comment section down below let's get this music community popping you might just be a producer like that as i said you might just want to be able to even record other people's vocals and know how to do that so yeah let me know in the comment section down below thanks for watching in the next video you'll learn more about youtube marketing online business and music production and all things music let's get involved i'll see you in the next one peace out